The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com, and today I'm on the WorldCat 255 DC, a crossover between fishing and family fun time on the water. Let's see how they've done as I take it on a full test and performance review. You board the 255 DC by either stepping in from the cap rails or through the swim platform between the two engines. The battery switch is located at the step below the swim platform gate. The non-skid cap rails to both sides have flush mounted rod holders, pop-up fender holders, plus the fuel and water fills, and there's a midship cleat to aid in tying the 255 up single-handed. Let's take a look at the helm. The helm on our test boat featured a standard stainless steel wheel with steering knob mounted to a tilt base. We also have the optional power assist steering in, and I wouldn't want to be heading far offshore without it. Waterproof push-button switches are to the lower left of the panel, and the control for the optional windlass is just to the right of the wheel. Clutter is kept to a minimum by using digital multifunction engine gauges. There's plenty of open real estate for adding a 12-inch screen to the panel, and additional electronics can be mounted to a panel in front of the observer, angled to face the operator. The dual ignitions are out of the knee strike zone and I'm happy to see that one lanyard can be used to kill both engines. The throttle was mounted at a roughly 45 degree angle but high enough so it still felt comfortable. There's a flip down footrest under the seat but I'd also like to see an additional footrest molded into the bottom of the console. Taking a look at the foredeck, in the center was the optional Pro Series Freefall Windlass and WorldCat supplies 300 feet of line, 15 feet of chain and a 14 pound anchor. The anchor runs through a stainless roller mounted to a molded pulpit, and full control switches are mounted on the foredeck, which makes sense as the entire foredeck is treated with non-skid and protected with a 12-inch high rail. Now let's get underway and see how this 255 DC handles. With twin 150 horsepower Yamaha four-strokes powering our test boat, we reach the top speed of 5,500 RPM and 44.8 miles per hour. At that speed, we had a fuel burn of 34.4 gallons per hour which meant we were getting 1.38 miles per gallon for a range of 249 miles. Best cruise came in at 3,000 RPM and 20.3 miles per hour. At that speed, we had a fuel burn of only 9.1 gallons per hour, which meant 2.23 miles per gallon and a range of 402 miles. We had a quick time to plane of only 3.3 seconds and reached 30 miles per hour in 7.9 seconds. And while we tested in the calm waters of the Intracoastal Waterway, there were several boats around creating sizable waves to give me a good indication of how this 255 handles. Her twin hulls are quite narrow and allow the 255 to slice through the waves rather than go up and over them. My experience testing WorldCat boats has shown that when the going gets rough, slowing down is not necessarily the correct move, as you can expect better wave penetration with an increase in speed, and this 255 seems to carry on that tradition. This is definitely a boat I'd like to be in if I suddenly find myself caught offshore in weather. When accelerating, the 255 DC exhibits a roughly 12 degree bow high attitude before coming up on plane, which translates to no loss of visibility to the horizon. As with most cats, turning is a little different if you're used to monohulls. When turned hard to port or starboard, the 255 leans into the turn like other world cats. When in the seated position and at cruise speed, I find my line of sight has me looking straight at the windshield frame, but of course up on the bolster I'm above it all. In my opinion, the 255 DC is a good handling boat that can easily take on offshore weather that may pop up. With the engines a good distance apart, I got better low speed torque, which helps when maneuvering around the dock. That's our full test and performance review of the 255 DC from WorldCat. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.